Uh, well, we, I, I thought in the first half we, we had some moments where we kept possession of the ball. We get into the final third, but uh, unfortunately our, our movement in the final third uh, was not good. We, a lot of times you see us running out of ideas when we get into that final third, and we just don't get anything out of our possession. And then, you know, they, they, they get in transition. We need to delay the transition. We don't. We try to win the ball. They get past us, and now all of a sudden, we're numbers even or numbers down, and they get a goal, and that puts us behind the eight ball. So, um, you know, overall, I, I thought we kept the ball okay, but our final third play was was just non-existent. We didn't we didn't create enough chances, and and when we create chances, we don't put them away, and that's been sort of our Achilles tendon the whole season. Um, we got to get better in terms of trans. De defensive transitioning, getting behind the ball. When you look at San Diego, up to nothing, they had 10 guys behind the ball in one transition play when they when they were attacking and they had to get get back. They got, again, their whole team behind the ball. And that's the mentality of a winner. Uh, we need to we need to work on that. We need to get our guys to to believe that's what's going to take to win games. And hopefully we can turn this around. You've talked a lot about fitness with this group, and you know it's not always about getting up and down the pitch as fast as you need. But for the creativity that you're looking for offensively, is the fitness just tell? Is it just mind telling feet to go? Or when you talk about fitness, what exactly do you mean? No, I mean it's it's a it's a combination. You know, uh, we can be overall fitter, uh, conditioning can be better, but when it's time to make a dynamic run. You know, a run that gets be, gets you behind the other team. We don't. We're not looking to make those runs. We're kind of jogging. Everybody's jogging. When you play a ball and then you move, but that movement is fast. It it either it, it does two things. It either pushes the defenders back, which gives you more time to play with the ball, more time on the ball, or you're going to get behind. But that movement, that dynamic run that needs to get in behind, it 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 doesn't exist. And we need to work on it to get better. Danny Barrera was a starter in today's match. What do you think he added to the game? Who was this? Danny Barrera. Hey, Danny, you know, obviously he's a, he's a good technical player and he gives us feet down the middle of the field. Um, I felt he was a little fatigued from the game Monday. Uh, that was a tough one because he played 90 minutes, first time in a while. And uh, I, I felt in the second half he started tiring out. But overall, his play on the ball was very good. Um, and we're going to continue to work with him, get his fitness level up and hopefully he can help us a lot more. Do you find that the guys are making the mistake of looking ahead to where they are in the standings, or where do you need the focus for the team to be to sort of turn around these results that you're seeing? No, we, we, I, don't think, I don't think that's the case where they're looking at the standings. I think it's a case of being smart on the, on the field um, and, and making sure that they give 100% effort. Uh, you know, I, I just showed them the two goals we gave up. Both of them are, you know, one is the decision making, whether to step in or try to delay the play till everybody gets back, or, you know, the other the other one is you know just just getting back, running back, running forward, you know, making plays in the final third. So it's a combination of things, but we're working, we're working. I mean, obviously, I've I've had the team for maybe six or seven training sessions, but I need to keep working and and getting them to understand what it takes to to win a game because we're not we're certainly not as bad as our record shows but at the, at the same time you can say hey we are our record so you know we gotta we gotta go back to the drawing board and and make sure that everybody understands their roles and then we got to work a little bit on our sharpness and and uh you know our transitional play Today with the sale crowd, what would be your message to the fans uh, i look the fans have been here all all year long uh they've supported us and you can't ask for more. You know we haven't given them anything back to to cheer, to cheer for, and we got to start doing that because uh, at the end of the day, that's why they come. They come here to see us support, to see us perform, and then to see us win. And uh, you know I I've been a part of game teams that that have won, and you know the the crowd, the people are crazy. This crowd has been crazy about this team, even though we, we've lost. So uh, I can only imagine when we win what this crowd and what this atmosphere can be like. 
in your experience, when it comes to the long road trips, especially here, you're facing two teams that you have a good chance of getting a win against. Yeah. What will you learn? What more will you learn about how they take their focus from week to week, especially since you'll probably be in the same time zone for at least two of them? Yeah, I mean, look, you know, uh, no games are easy in this league. Uh, we play two teams that are sort of bottom of the table, so like we are. Uh, so it's. <laughs> It's uh, bottom dwellers that that that, that are, that are going to go fight for the win, and and hopefully we bring our A game, and we can we can start chipping at this at this table and and trying to get a couple wins on the road. There there will be nothing better than if we can go on the road and get a couple Ws because that will give us some confidence coming back home.